Today we're going to talk about 10 things Microsoft didn't tell you about Windows 10 Creators Update. Stay tuned. This video was brought to you by Maple Syrup, because I like maple syrup. You're watching Nasmus Labs, where we talk about technology, gaming, rapid transit, and a lot more. If you like the content, make sure to hit the like button. To be notified for all future videos, click subscribe. Microsoft talked a lot about the Creators Update to Windows 10 but there are a glimpse of cool little features found in a preview video of Windows 10 Creators Update that Microsoft publicly didn't talk much about, if at all. Today, I want to share with you 10 of them. Special thanks to Brad Sands from Therat.com for pointing some of them out. I did notice some myself, but Brad found a lot more. Number 10. The Action Center Windows 10 Creators Update will likely bring a complete redesign of the Quick Action section of the Action Center, which was originally introduced in Windows 10 back in July 2015. You'll notice that your primary action buttons are larger and more prominent in the bottom of the action center with quick access to brightness and volume sliders. Furthermore, the rest of the quick action buttons take on more of a subtle appearance, losing the square boxes around their icons. For comparison, this is what the current action center looks like today. Number 9. Pen Gestures for Microsoft Word The Microsoft Word app optimized for touch devices such as the Surface Pro will get new functionality that will enable you to do certain tasks more easily with a pen. For instance, you can strike through portions of text using your pen and that text will get deleted. You can also crudely highlight parts of the text using your pen and that section will properly and cleanly get highlighted. Number 8. Unlimited Color Options Today, you can pick from various accent colors to change how Windows looks, but the number of colors available to you is limited. With the Creators Update, this might change. As you can see from this image, you can pick any color you desire from a custom color palette. Let us know in the comments what color you want to apply that you can't right now. Number 7. Theme Store Well, on the subject of personalizing how your PC looks, it seems like that you might be able to buy theme packs for Windows right from the Windows Store. While we don't know what the theme packs might include, I suspect they might include a collection of high-resolution wallpapers along with custom sounds and perhaps even mouse cursors. We will just have to wait to find out. Number 6. Groove Music Maker Microsoft introduced the Groove Music app in Windows 10 that lets you play audio files. From what we're seeing, it could very well be that Groove will let us remix our own sounds. From the screenshot here, we can see that Groove Music Maker offers multi-track capabilities for us to mix various audio clips. Number 5. Email someone without even opening the mail app. With the Creators Update, Microsoft announced that you can pin your favorite contacts to the Windows taskbar. This means you can email them simply by clicking on their profile picture without even having to open the full mail app. From the picture shown, we see that we still have access to the full, rich text editor found on the full mail app. Number 4. New Share Charm With the new Favorite Contacts feature comes the long overdue redesign of the Share Charm. First introduced in Windows 8, this feature hasn't been significantly updated since Windows 8.1. Therefore, it looks completely out of place and strange in Windows 10. The new Share Charm falls more in line with the Windows 10 look and is placed in the center of the screen, making it easier to act upon it with the mouse, whereas the one from Windows 8 was designed more for the thumb. Number 3. Windows Defender gets a makeover. Thanks to the Windows Defender antivirus software that has been included in Windows since Windows 8, most users no longer need to install third-party antivirus programs. Well, the creators update to Windows 10, Defender get, is getting a new look. We already saw the settings for Windows Defender being moved to the Settings app in an earlier Windows 10 release, and now the rest of the client is getting the makeover it deserves. Number 2. Collection in Maps for the Maps app, we might get a feature called Collections. From what it looks like, it might let us save our favorite places in one spot so you can quickly get their directions, see nearby places, and even have a look at the pictures of the place. Did you try the new Maps app in Windows 10? Or do you just use Google Maps on the web? Number 1. Thumbnails view for tabs in Microsoft Edge Windows 10 November update brought us tab previews on mouse hover on Microsoft Edge. With the Creators update, we might get a more enhanced version of the thumbnail preview of all open tabs. To be honest though, this reminds me of a feature in Internet Explorer 7 introduced in Windows Vista almost 10 years ago. But the bigger question is, do you even use Microsoft Edge? Comment if you do. Alright guys, we got a bonus one for you. Since we have been talking about Microsoft Edge, let's add this one to the list. 
save tabs for later. From this screenshot, we can see that we can save tabs for later. This can be a very useful feature to help us get back to websites without hogging our browser with open tabs and taking up RAM. We had a more crude version of this feature called Snooze that let us set a reminder to Cortana to get back to the website. But I think this implementation is much better. The terrible snooze feature has been removed though, and thankfully so. But I do hope this feature actually arrives in the Creators Update. There you have it folks. 10 features coming to Windows 10 Creators Update that Microsoft didn't tell you about. What features are you most excited about? I personally am excited about the custom colors and themes on the Windows Store. Let us know your favorite in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to be notified for all future videos. And thank you for watching. And as I like to say, let's be a small part in a bigger movement to better the world.